If you lived in Utah in 1983, chances are you remember the flooding in downtown Salt Lake City and elsewhere. And if you were born or moved here since, you may have heard of the State Street River. I certainly have heard of that myself. On the anniversary of that historic flood, Fox 13 News reporter Maitha Lee Gooby spoke to officials who managed that response. Maitha Lee joins us from downtown Salt Lake City this evening with more. Maitha Lee. State Street looks like it does pretty much every day today, but on this day 40 years ago, it was filled with water with people in sandbags lining the street. That year's snowpack and consistently high temperatures led to City Creek in Salt Lake City overflowing and water bodies in most part of the state. 40 years is a long time, you think about it. I was 39, now I'm 80. <laughs> I can't believe that. Looking back, it's something that doesn't happen every day. We're on uh, Fifth South and State, and this is what's now called the State Street River. To deal with the fast-melting snowpack in 1983, water from City Creek was diverted to State Street. Yep, that's my writing. Now, this is the money that I got from um, helping to do mitigation projects. Lorraine Frank was the director of Utah Comprehensive Emergency Management in 1983. Everything is much better after 40 years. We learned a lot. So clearing of streams and information dissemination down to the locals, you know, it's just amazing what's been happening from the time that we, like in the Stone Ages, compared to now. She flipped through yellow pages looking for phone numbers to call contractors, crews, and people to help. Trying to get as many sandbags as we went through a million and a half, and we were out. We were telling people take shirts, button it up put sand in it and tie arms and tie them up. Lorraine says seeing everyone come out to help each other was one of the highlights of the natural disaster. That's something former Salt Lake City Mayor Ted Wilson echoes and hopes we can continue to do. Uh, be prepared to offer help, particularly on the neighborhood level where someone's basement may be flooded uh, or other things could happen. Uh, people need to work together and enjoy each other but doesn't think that this will happen again. If we'd have had any problems now, we didn't learn our lesson. There's been a lot of improvements that have happened uh, since 1983 with the infrastructure, additional reservoirs, a lot of mitigation work that's happening, and uh, really just, uh, you know, everybody learns from these events. So the 1983 event was a wake-up call for things that needed to happen, and, and there have been a lot of improvements over the years. The historic State Street River has become a core memory for so many Utahns. People who were here remember where they were and they remember how it impacted them as well. If you have pictures or your own memories you want to share with us, you can post them to Utah's Weather Authority Facebook page. Live in downtown Salt Lake, I am Maithili Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.